You tuned in to the Profit and Growth Hour here on WDRB Media and WGIV, the soul of Charlotte. Thank you so very much, family, for tuning in for this another Profit and Growth segment. As you know, we always go on location to find out what's happening in the community. And today is no different. We are here with Red Raindrops Entertainment. That's right, Red Raindrops Entertainment on location at their Praise Jam. And guess what? We are jamming here on today, and we are interested in finding out what's happening in the entertainment industry today because the things that have happened in the past are different from the things that are happening today uh obviously we had eight tracks back in the day we had cassette tapes back in the day we had cds back in the day and guess what now we just doing downloads type of thing that's right all digital yeah i have an expert here on the red carpet with me he's going to introduce himself And he's going to share a little bit about what it is that he does and how this digital age is perfecting his record label. You want to introduce yourself? Yes, I'm Ray Forrest with Audio Addictive Entertainment. And the digital era is is a beautiful era. I love technology and and how everything is going in the music industry. Because right now, all of the artists on the grassroots level are getting the opportunity to get the exposure that all the major artists can get. Mm. Because they can release their, their releases just as fast as anybody else. That's right. And if they put in the, gra- the grassroots hard work, mm. they'll get the notoriety as the, just like the big artists. Absolutely. And Is that giving them a leg up now when it comes to producing what it is that needs to be, do- be produced and gotten out to the industry? That's not giving them a leg up, but it's giving them a level playing field. Oh, okay. okay. So now they have just as much as opportunity as anybody else to make a name for themselves. It so now money. there's no more excuses. No excuses. Because you know we like to do the woulda, coulda, shoulda yes. type of scenario. Yes. Have our own little pity parties right. and blame the man for why it is that we haven't gotten to the next level. That's a fact. So we get to do away with all that now. Right, right. Now what the- type of influence is it that you have when you're working with your various artists? You have a record label. Right. So you do consulting, you coach, you work with them, I'm you help get on. their music out there. Talk to us about what it is that you share with them. Okay, I share just my whole vibe is a positive vibe. My whole label, I share my expertise and I share just the whole camaraderie of the label is just to keep everything on. You want to keep it realistic but you want to mm-hmm. stay positive you know mm-hmm. even if your message is coming across as a hip-hop person can still be positive that's what i'm trying to get that's at. right so we mainly do hip-hop and we blend hip-hop and pop mm. and that's what i bring to the table to my artists i open their minds up to not just do rap wow you want to blend genres you want to mm-hmm. open your music to a broader audience wow that's what i try to bring to all of my artists one of the things that i have learned over the years as it relates to rap Mm -hmm. is that through the lyrics you're able to tell a story the story that rappers tell how significant and how close should that be to their own story and their own experiences well I encourage my artists to make sure that it's as close as possible to their own experience because the fans can tell when it's not (laughs) the fans can tell when it's not and normally the music is bad when it's not right (laughs) so Uh I encourage them to be as honest as possible in their music wow it comes off you can you can tell Mm -hmm. (laughs) you can tell well now we're living in a genre where it doesn't matter if you're doing country or rap or gospel or r&b or old school or new school the actual beat right is really what is kicking things off right right and it's the lyrics i guess that's what differentiates The artist. The artist. Right. Now, just like I was saying, where the wave of music is going with the technology and the digital era, Mm -hmm. it's doing the same thing, like you said, with the production. It used Mm -hmm. to be about lyrics in Mm -hmm. the 80s and the 90s. Now it's more about the the production and the beat. Mm -hmm. And if you could just not mess the beat up, (laughs) then you almost got a decent song. Right, right. Nine times out of ten, that's the artist's job. Just don't mess the beat up or... Like I said, put the message in there Mm -hmm. that will connect to the fans. Well, let me ask you this. Back in the day, obviously, you had the instrumentation Mm -hmm. piece that was in place. So you had people playing the bass, playing the keys, playing the trumpets and the sax and things of that nature. Nowadays, you have a one-man band, somebody pressing a button, and then all of a sudden, everything is now laid out there. Well, that... That's also an attribute that differentiates artists from each other. Mm-hmm. Because 
good artists are gonna still use live instruments. Okay. They're gonna use the MP3s and the MPCs mm -hmm. to make their beats, but it, it's nothing like a live instrument. So they're gonna True incorporate that. That. that with their new electronics. And like I said, the, the professionals could tell the difference. Yeah. The average yeah. fan might not be able to, but mm -hmm. the professionals know. What specific services do you offer to the market? To the market, we offer in recording services for artists. Mm -hmm. And for artists, we offer in management services, mm -hmm. logos, anything you can name, we offer for our smaller artists. Mm -hmm. But uh, as far as for the fans, we offer in, we offer in merchandise. Okay. And, and good music with a positive message. And now you're transitioning to radio yep. and being able to take the product that your artists are producing and actually get that out over the airways through WGIV. Well, that's a fact. That's exactly right. But more importantly, what I'm excited about is that platform that I can provide to all the artists mm -hmm. to kind of get more exposure. Right. And, and, and get their music out on another platform that they, was, they wasn't able to get on before. That is true. Right. Because oftentimes independent artists are overlooked right. when it comes to mainstream radio. Mm -hmm. So through WDRB Media, WGIV, we're able to sort of get them in the cut, if you will, right. or get them under the radar to actually give them the exposure that they need in order to get to the next level. Right. And that's that part right there is what got me excited. Wow. That's what got Excellent. me excited. How can people connect with you? You can uh, get in contact with me on social media, Audio Addictive Entertainment on Instagram, and Audio Addictive Entertainment on Facebook. Wow, you heard it here, family. Once again, we're here on location. You may hear some of the music going on in the background, but we're excited about the opportunity to be able to showcase and highlight what's happening not only on stage, but also behind the stage, because both are necessary in order to produce an excellent product. Don't go anywhere. You're tuned in to the Profit and Growth Hour here on WDRB Media and WGIV, the soul of Charlotte. I am Dr. Business, and we'll be right back.